craziest thing we just heard about blood balls. So apparently, people used to think that red algae were responsible for the red color, but a study in the Journal of Glaciology has revealed the truth, and let me tell you, it's wild. The scientists use radar to scan the ice layers where the falls come from, and what they found was straight up bonkers. It turns out that there's a whole network of subglacial rivers and even a freaking lake under the Taylor Glacier, all chock full of brine that's super high in iron. And that's what gives the falls their signature red hue. But get this, the reason the brine stays liquid in those freezing cold environments is because it's got a ton of salt in it. And because salt water has a lower freezing point than pure water and releases heat as it freezes, it keeps the ice melted and allows the rivers to flow. I mean, we're talking about the coldest glacier on Earth with actual flowing water, people. And it's all thanks to some seriously salty water that's loaded with iron. Who knew science could be so metal? The fact that it's so salty tells you it's not glacier melt, right? It has to be coming from somewhere else. But what gives it its unique color is truly fascinating. In this video, we'll explore the origin of Blood Falls and the secrets that lay underneath Taylor Glacier in Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valleys. You won't want to miss the discoveries made by a team of scientists as we uncover the mysteries of the coldest glacier on Earth with constantly flowing water. Stick around till the end to learn about the microbes that live in these extreme conditions, providing clues to the development of life on other planets.